this is a trader investor and I'm going to continue the conversation on SPY trading and in uh, today's video we'll continue to focus on the one hour demand zone uh, what is one hour demand zone if you have not been following up on my last few videos it is a demand zone on the hourly chart where uh, institutions have a tendency to have orders that are left open they go uh, on a demand zone they want to go uh, bullish not all their orders are filled and when price comes back to that bullish area if there's additional orders it will pick it up and what that does is it will reverse uh, the pullback at that moment uh, same thing on the supply zone it will reverse the rally when we get to a supply zone so uh, last uh, few trading days we had a demand zone that uh, was formed on Wednesday on Thursday they came back and uh, took some orders and drove it up and then uh, yesterday I usually uh, do not leave these demand zones up or do not trade them uh, un until I see something very strong but yesterday we saw that there were additional orders that were still left open they came back for them and drove the price up today when we had the gap down we came back to that zone and it did not continue to go up how do you know when it continues to go up this is uh, something that we really really have to be very careful of for me i don't trade them blindly i don't wait for price to touch and then i enter the opposite direction i will go to a lower time frame 15 minutes or five minutes and what i want to see is break of structure so price comes down and then it breaks to the top side makes a higher low and continues to resume so this is what i want to see as break of structure and so when you're looking at this uh, 15 minutes chart price came down to that demand zone it broke this high and then it tested that high after it broke it this bar broke it and then these two bars these two bars did not go any lower than the test so that was a, an indication for us that uh, the break of structure happened you can either go at the high of these two bars that tested it or you can go as soon as you have a close above this high here uh, somewhere in between is what you can do for that upside which was a beautiful beautiful entry yesterday and so today when price decides to come back to that zone it comes down uh, plays around and comes back to that zone there was no break of structure there was no break of structure because price went down it actually tested recent highs and continue to go down so this is why i say no break of structure no trade uh, so as let me quickly go back to the one hour chart and point out this demand zone is no longer valid because we slide through it so initial orders additional orders that were left open additional orders that were fulfilled when we came back down here there were no more orders if, if there were there were very very few very few orders that uh, momentarily pushed price up slightly but then price went back down so there was no orders and now we are at the next demand zone because we're at the next one hour demand zone we want to see is there a break of structure here price came down picked up orders reverse momentarily is continuing to go down is there a break of structure do not trade blindly please do not trade blindly what do we want to see well we want to see prices come down it has formed a high now we want to see a higher low for price to resume this way so until we break the recent highs there is no break of structure so we want to see that break of structure form really clearly before we enter this position because this position has not clearly said hey 
this demand zone was strong and we're going to get out of this demand zone it has not said that even if you come down to a, a lower time frame you have high here a higher high here low here higher low we want to see what this higher low does we want to see that this area is maintained and we want to see price push back up price push back up so i have marked here an alert this is where i would be interested for me this is where i would be interested is i want to break these highs but i'm going to definitely start looking at it once it breaks these highs definitely going to look at that so we can even add an alert there and so what's once it breaks these highs we want to see again it's just positioning and not blindly entering because if it just collapses collapses and if it just breaks this high on a wick and then collapses we don't want to enter right this we don't want to be manipulated so we want to make sure we have everything in line before we enter our position so the demand zone one demand zone is eliminated the second demand zone about to be eliminated because we're seeing additional weakness in the market and then there's further demand zone down below uh, you can even say on rally base rally you can even say this is a uh, demand zone you, uh, yeah this is a demand zone uh, we will draw it like this this could be a demand zone that uh, price has come down to that as well uh, so has gone through two demand zones and now we want to see what price does as if a demand zone is always uh, something from the past there's no demand zone that says hey when I get here price is going to reverse we have a demand zone and what we're anticipating is could there be some open orders in this zone that have yet to be fulfilled and the charts will tell us current conditions will tell us yes or no if current conditions do not confirm we don't enter so in this zone so far it is saying no there is no condition that says that this uh, additional orders here were strong retailers some institutions might have said hey i'm go i'm going to go long spy not trade maybe long term i'm going to add to positions here they might be happy and they might have momentarily pushed the price up but overall a lot of smart money is not into this position for now so this lower demand zone and even further down another demand zone we're going to wait and see when we break structure break structure break structure lower high lower low then we form a higher low and then start to form higher highs this is as soon as this is broken that's break of structure because we have a higher low here definitely this is how we want to take a look at the position before we're entering before we're in a rush to enter so for now this is what it does now one thing i like about this kind of pullbacks one position that i have taken and i like this is when i'm in a demand zone instead of waiting for a reversal and the reversal might come a little bit later it might come somewhere in this zone so i'm okay with that so what i will do is when price is hitting here i will sell a cash covered puts meaning if price 442 uh, strike price because that's where the current price is i will try to sell at the money uh, i will try not to go out of the money a lot but but i might go to 440 just slightly out of the money sell because my anticipation is it doesn't matter how many days this takes it will come back up here and what i do for this scenario is, is i want to have at least 30 days before expiration and I like to have monthly expirations. That's what I prefer for this kind of trade. And so the September 17th expiration is what I have. And so price 
can take a few days down here and reverse that's my expectation and I'm seeing I'm at a demand zone that has been rejected so this is probably a good place to enter that put position knowing two things I'm okay if price continues to go down and I get exercised I'm okay to own the stocks I'm okay to own spies at this level I'm okay with that that's one two I have enough time for price to reverse I'm not seeing any signs of market collapse so there's enough time for price to reverse and uh, let me keep all the premium that I collect in this scenario so which is a fantastic fantastic scenario so this is how I'm looking at the markets today this is how they are setting up based on demand zones and and then you know our my favorite kind of other indicators are the 15 minutes uh, range so in the first 15 minutes opening range today we were having an inside day and then we played around yesterday's 15 minutes range as you can see the highs and the lows are almost equal we danced around there until we collapsed when we collapsed we went below the low of yesterday right once we went below the low of yesterday you know this whole market was collapsing and it came back to this demand zone it was not able to maintain this demand zone that's why entering it up here is not the best entry for me 444.80 to 443.20 there's more than a dollar move uh, but uh, I do not know where price will stall when it's an inside day but once we broke these lows and unable to go above it then we have a good entry we have a good entry 442.80 to this supply uh, this demand zone 441.80 that this is your dollar move here beautiful dollar move and target two you can say it is uh, the next block or the other side of this uh, block so you have pretty pretty good uh, position that uh, the market gave you today I just chose instead of playing it for a dollar move I just chose to capture bigger premium by selling puts right down here right when the market got down here is where I sold my put position and now I'm waiting for price to reverse and if it reverses in one two days and it lets me capture 50% of the premium that I've collected I'll close the position if it takes longer, then I will wait for 100% of the premium collected to be in my account. This is how I look at it. Anyway, so this is the market today. Uh, always beautiful moves. Always does what it's giving us, what we can anticipate. It is letting us know. Uh, we can draw right here. We can draw a supply zone. But keep in mind... I do not trade against the trend. I do not trade against the trend. Therefore, when price comes back here, it might be a target for me from down here as I'm entering positions. It might be a target for me, but it's not going to be a reversal when I will enter because some of these reversals are going to be very, very short lived. Price comes here. It does a very small bounce and boom. So it could be very short-lived. That's why I don't enter against the threat. All right, everyone. That's been a lot of conversations today. Thank you for your time. And I'll see you in the next video.